faculty all-stars. That's been our theme. A lot of great faculty members here at Lafayette College. Mike's going to chat with a couple of them. Thanks, Gary. Faculty All-Stars here again, and we have David Stifel, uh, professor and assistant head uh, professor here for economics. Great to have you with us. Well, it's great to be here. Thank you, Mike. And David Schulman, uh, professor of anthropology and sociology. Congratulations. Thanks very much. This is a special week. I mean, obviously, having you guys here as All-Stars and getting that recognition from the kids in the classroom is really big. And uh, tell me what you thought when you heard you were a faculty All-Star, David. Well, it, it was, it's really quite an honor. And, you know, for me to ha have this, uh, this honor from, from Sophie, uh, who is actually not my student. I know her uh, as a member of the soccer team, on the mentor to the soccer team. Um, and so for me, just to, to have this uh, um, opportunity to get to know students that, that, who I don't interact with in the classroom and get to know them quite well uh, through athletics has really uh, been quite nice, nice experience. And you, David, obviously uh, had to be excited when you heard that and the uh, the, the way the kids get involved in your class has got to be amazing for you to kind of get that back and forth with such small classes for yourself. Yeah, it was uh, great to hear, um, to get that recognition, and also you respect the athletes so much. They work hard, they're very disciplined. To feel like you're doing enough of a good job with them that they want to recognize you is really gratifying. Yeah, absolutely, and, and we talk about the fact that these are Division One athletes, and we have so many of them here at the college. Pretty much one out of every four, one out of every five kids here is a Division One athlete and trying to balance that academics. So tell me a little bit about that when they're in and out of your classroom and trying to make that thing work. Well, so for some of them, it's especially challenging. Uh, the, like baseball team, they're on the road quite a bit. Um, quite a bit. Others, uh, others don't miss as many uh, as many classes. Uh, but to be frank, I don't treat them any differently from any other students, and and that's the most impressive part that uh, that they live up to the, my expectations, all of our expectations of them as students uh, first and foremost, who happen to be student athletes. Professor Schulman, do you find a lot of the athletes are kind of the leaders in the classroom, the way they are on the field? Um, I think so. I think a lot of the lessons uh, they get from being athletes working hard, being part of a team, end up carrying over. They don't tend to complain. I was just thinking when David was um, speaking that you don't have to worry about these athletes. They take care of business. Very focused, very efficient. Um, it's something to take a lot of pride in and having them in the class. Right. Now both of you participate as faculty mentors. That's got to be a lot of fun. So you stay close to the sport, you stay close to the athletes, and you kind of live and die with the wins and losses, and they probably live and die with the grades. That's right. That's, that, that's right. And, and the other thing is that we uh, get a great appreciation of what goes on in the athletics department, and uh, we get to know the coaches as well as the, as the student athletes. So uh, real appreciation for what they do on the coaching side, but for we really see the demands on the time uh, of our students and, uh, and what they're able to accomplish. Right. given that. Anything special that you're doing in your classes this semester? I obviously got a couple months left here before the end of the year, but maybe something you guys are doing special in your classes, something you, you do uh, to kind of keep the kids interested because obviously they're nominating you. They got to like walking into your classroom every day. Yeah, we try and do a lot of uh, exercises that take a class beyond lecture. As a liberal arts college, Lafayette is a place where the teachers are trying to put in extra effort to engage the students. So. We'll do everything from doing simulations, scenarios, guest speakers, field trips. Um, we try and make it so that the students are excited to go and be pursuing their studies with us. Yeah, I, I like the field trip opportunity there too. Uh, and, and David, tell me lastly, you know, the, these, these kids, the one-on-one the -on -one that you get with them, they may not get at a bigger school where you don't have a teacher assistant, you're constantly working with the kids on papers, things like that. The interaction is really a, a tight atmosphere. No, that, very much so. And, and for example, in the, my econometrics class, um, I meet with each and every one of the students to talk about their projects, you know, figure out how their data is working and, and um, how they're going to go about writing these papers. Um, and uh, you, you really, you need to have that time with the students. They need that time with you. Um, and we make it work that way. Exactly. Yeah. Thank you both so much. It's been great. And again, faculty all-stars. And, and, and I'm sure next year you'll be a two-time faculty all-star. Appreciate it. Thank, David, thanks for a couple minutes. Thank you very much. And David, thank you so much. Appreciate it. Thank you too, Mike. Back to two non-faculty all-stars. <laughs> How about how smoothly Mike Joseph moves from the football booth down to the sideline? Did a great job all season long, Mike Joseph. When we come back, we'll still test John and see how he's doing. Stay with us. Still in probation. <laughs>